You may be wondering to yourself, why do Ryobi batteries have this stick out portion here versus almost all the other battery packs are flat on the top and slide in from other brands? This limits a lot of the ways that these batteries can be attached. The batteries can basically only go in to a socket like that. They cannot slide in from the side. And it also makes, means that whatever tool is hooked onto has to have enough space there for that uh, piece, which is um, kind of annoying, I guess, when you're designing stuff. Um, it does make for a good uh, positive latching or uh, contact, but um, sliding is just as good and may even be better. So why has Ryobi chosen to continue to do this design? Well, it comes from their extensive tool catalog, which used this design in the past, starting with the NICAD and nickel metal hydride batteries long ago, where they were using the same design and they just kept using the same design so people could continue using their older tools with the newer batteries. But why was the NICAD and nickel metal hydride batteries, why were they designed like this? And so we're going to take this battery pack apart to see what the reason for that is and compare it to a new lithium battery to see what's inside. Pull apart. NICAD batteries. I'm glued to the bottom. It's working. All right, glued. It's in there really hard. So that's a piece of insulation. This is insulation, electrical insulation on the top and the bottom, so you can't make a short circuit. So here we have the reason why Ryobi had this extension out here is because they stored a battery in there. Um, although it seems like they could have stored an extra battery somewhere like maybe like right here or here and not really made the casing that much bigger. They could have just moved the screw location somewhere else. But this is what they chose to do was to shove a battery up in this area here. And because um, if you look, you have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen times one point two volts. There you have the eighteen volts. So this battery slides right up in there like that, and it provides the support for the electrical connections also. Also interesting is how these clips work. So you have the button here, and then you have a spring, and the spring sits in there like that. And the button slides in, flip it over. Okay. So this is how the spring goes in here to provide the spring force for the clip. Now let's compare this to the lithium battery. In order to take apart the lithium ion battery you need a safety torque screwdriver like this because they don't want you taking that apart easily. It's a safety risk to take apart this battery and a fire risk because if you short it it could create sparks and fire and stuff like that so you need to be careful when you're taking this apart. So here you go. You may actually have to remove this torx on the top here first. Like something breaking. Take out the clips. These batteries have foam on the sides to cushion the the lithium batteries here. And so if you take off the side clips and you can remove the whole pack. Now um, it's got the the gauge, connection to the gauge up here on the front. Uh, this one has an older style gauge, it's just like a single color uh, that shows you the different um, quantities. And here you see in the bottom it's got rubber 
uh, shock absorption for the bottom for the bottom of the batteries. Um, so here are the lithium cells, 18650 cells, and here you'll see that you'll find that like look, this is empty now. There's nothing in here. It's just a, a spacer with contacts. So it's not doing anything useful in there anymore like it used to with the NICAD batteries. So this is the so the comparison between the two is the lithium ion batteries have all the cells in the base and then the NICAD batteries had a cell up in that extension the stick out. Daddy, that looks like a field in the tower. A field in the tower, huh? This is the tower, that's the tower. Mm -hmm. And this is a little This is probably the temperature sensor contact. So on the older batteries, uh, the NICAD batteries, this used to also be, I think, a temperature sensor contact there. But this has now uh, additional temperature sensor contacts. So let's see if we can find the temperature sensor here. Yes, see, here in the, uh, in the old NICAD pack, there's a temperature sensor right here that's connected into this, onto that contact. Okay, thank you for your help, Ezra.